Welcome to the kingdom. Okay, so Minister Kim, most Christians are taught to pray about everything. So why would a Christian need a therapist? Mm. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely want to pray about everything, but I believe that sometimes everything that we pray about, you know, whether it's sickness, disease, whatever, mm. we still got to do the, the things that are common, you know, common sense, I think. Um, like if we were sick physically, mm. um, we still want to the doctor and get it checked out. Mm. So when it comes to therapy, my thing is, is if someone is really battling with something, and it can be spiritual warfare, mm -hmm. um, but I think if you are if you are going to a therapist to kind of get some help with some thoughts, um, you know, or something that you just really can't shake, mm -hmm. I think they can help you walk that out, walk through that. Um, you know, there are tools that we use, um, you know, tips, different things that we can help, you know, that person go through uh, that in a way that it won't affect them, um, that will kind of like take them out per se. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes we do need to really talk through some things in order to heal um, from some things. And when we don't have that way of really opening up or being able to figure out what's the root cause of this that's hurting me, mm -hmm. um, we do kind of stay stuck in that. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't realize you know, that we're stuck until we really have somebody that we can talk to and there's some layers that can be peeled back um, that we can find ourselves, um, you know, dealing with that, you know, we can't when we're just taking it in and holding on to it by ourselves. Because it's not really healthy, is it, Minister, to keep things bottled up in, in, to keep things bottled up on the inside of you, right? No, not at all. Um, one of the things that uh, I, you know, found out as I started um, as a counselor is, you know, we hold things in, it does start to eat at us physically. You know, there's a lot of things that start anything, um, you know, that we kind of hold on to and it's kind of uh, taking a hold of us to where we can deal with depression, uh, which can turn into those internal physical illnesses, something from, you know, as easy as maybe a headache, mm. uh, all the way to diabetes wow. um, uh, and cancer sometimes. So it's, excuse thoughts, me for interrupting. Can I interrupt? Can I interrupt for a minute? So you're saying, yeah. so you're saying if we internalize certain issues without discussing them, that the repercussions of that is it can show up with illnesses, legitimate illnesses in our bodies? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, yes. Wow. Uh, physical illnesses. Over time, it can eat you up. Wow. And one of the things that um, I, you know, kind of read about, and I don't have a lot of the information with me in front of me, but one of the things that I just happened to read is that, you know, things is what we consider simple as unforgiveness that can eat within mm -hmm. us too yeah. because if we're sitting in that yeah it can come you know we can develop ulcers mm -hmm. you know just all kinds mm -hmm. of things that we don't think is that important you know when we think about i'm sitting in this anger or this uh guilt or mm -hmm. this frustration um whatever it is if we don't deal with it uh sometimes it'll start dealing with us mm -hmm. you know and we won't know sometimes that it that's the cause, mm. but it, it, it can uh, cause some uh, illnesses within our bodies. Wow. And you know, Minister Kim, we do live in the natural world. And you know what the Bible says, that they that are sick need a physician. Mm -hmm. So there's really nothing wrong with going to a doctor or a therapist when you need one. Uh, but we also know as believers that we need to pray and we should pray first, but doesn't mean that just because we pray that we don't have to go to the doctor unless you have that type of faith where you, where you have faith uh, uh, that is so so great that you don't have to go to the, to the doctor. Most of us are not there yet, but um, but but yeah, I agree with what you what you said that um, you know we we thank God for uh, physicians. Mm -hmm. You know we thank God for therapists because, like you say, you know 
A lot of things eat you up on this and guilt eats you up. Unforgiveness eats you up. You know, I, a lot of things that we go through, if we don't get the help that we need, it'll eat us up on the inside and make us sicker. Mm-hmm. You know, we just don't realize it, you know. So we just, we thank God that we do have people such as yourselves and other professionals that's there to help us, especially when we don't have the faith to believe God for our own healing. So, so and, and I think you're saying too, if some of us would just walk in forgiveness, we might avoid some illnesses. Is that what you're saying? It could be just as simple as that. Wow. I think, uh, you know, we don't, I, I think when it comes to our faith, um, it's one of those things that um, we we all hope we have it. I mean, we can <laughs> say we have it. Right. Um, but sometimes we don't really realize it until we see our actions. Yeah. yeah. What, how are we walking this out? What does it look like um, to say that I really believe I have faith? You mm-hmm. know. And so um, that's one of those things that it's just kind of you know we we all kind of struggle with. Mm-hmm. But uh, when we when we know that we're holding on to some things mm-hmm. that really uh, take a lot out of us, whether it's just mentally or um, physically. Yeah, it can it can definitely start eating in our bodies. So it's simple to say as we wrap up this, this episode, it's simple to say some people can basically begin to be healed or feel better if they just probably say, I forgive you. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. It's that simple. Just say, I forgive you. And and I want some of you that's watching this because that might be your word. Now, you may say there's nothing profound about what we're saying, but your word today might just be, I forgive you. And the healing that you need physically, that you've been waiting on to manifest, may happen just like that by you forgiving someone. Because Minister Kim has just told us, when we eternalize, we become toxic and it begins to affect your body and your emotions and your mental state. So for some of you, your word today might be, you need to just say, I forgive you. And you got to forgive by faith, not by feelings. Join us for our next episode, beloved. This is Pastor Fred Moore. Love, peace, and blessings.